Okay, for this question, we're told that a one inch by two inch ductile cast iron bar needs to remain in operation for nine years at a temperature of 650 degrees Celsius. We're then asked to then determine what is the maximum load that we can apply to this component. So uh, whenever you have a question like this, Larson-Miller parameter diagrams can be very, very useful. The Larson-Miller parameter tells you um, as a function of stress that can be applied if you want to avoid rupture for given conditions such as temperature, T there, and small t, time. So in this case, we're given the temperature, we're given the time, we're given the dimensions of the sample, and we're asked to figure out what the load is. So let's start by writing out what we know. We know that the sample is one by two inches. The plot is given in PSI, pounds per square inch. So apparently whoever made this question is a barbarian and they want to use imperial units, so that's fine. It means we don't have to convert these inches to meters. So therefore the cross-sectional area of this component, which we're going to need to figure out force eventually, is just equal to two square inches. The next step, we're told that this is happening at 650 degrees Celsius. 650 degrees C, to turn that into Kelvin, we're gonna take it and do 650 plus 273, and that equals 923 Kelvin. Now that we have the temperature, the last thing we need to do is turn nine hours into, nine years into hours. So nine years, we can write that one year has 365 days. We can write that one day has 24 hours. Multiplying this through, we find that the total number of hours in nine years is 78,840. So now that we have the temperature in Kelvin, the time in hours, and we know the cross-sectional area, let's go ahead and figure out what our Larson-Miller parameter would be. Larson-Miller parameter is going to be equal to, we're using this formula right here, 923 Kelvin divided by 1,000. Um, we're going to multiply this by 36 plus 0 0.78 multiplied by the natural log of 78,840. Again, by definition, this time here is in hours, right? So when we go ahead and plug all that in, we find that our Larson-Miller parameter is equal to 41.34. Now we go ahead and look at our Larson-Miller parameter plot over here. On the x-axis, it shows the Larson-Miller parameter. So it goes between 40 and 42. This would be about 41.3. Or in other words, right about where this line intersects is right there. So more or less we're looking, at least with the, the accuracy shown in this plot, it looks like the stress, the maximum stress that we'd be able to withstand is 1,000 PSI. So 1,000 pounds per square inch equals our stress, and stress equals force over area or the load over the area. So we'd like to solve for our load F, which is going to be over two inches squared, equals 1,000 pounds per square inch. So we go ahead and solve for F, and we find that F is equal to 2,000 pounds.